Recently, I did a video for Go Kilowatt. It was a review for a battery, the 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. That review didn't go so well because the battery was broken. The claim to fame for this battery was the LCD, or the readout, that showed the meter. It's supposed to show the voltage and the percentage of capacity of the battery that's left. But now I have an update. I actually contacted Go Kilowatt and said, hey, I want to take this battery apart and look at what's inside. And they said, well, we don't have any diagrams for you. You should just take the screws out and open the cover. And so I went and took a second look at the battery. And on top of the case, what looked like just part of the case itself, there's actually circles. You can tell where these caps are in place. They put caps where every screw is. There are eight screws, eight caps. I couldn't figure out how to get them out, so I just used a tiny drill. I used my drill, screwed in about a turn and a half, and gave a pull on each of the caps. Took the caps out, removed the screws, and now I have access to the battery. And when I opened the case to the battery, it was really obvious that the power connector that goes to the LCD display literally did fall off. Which is surprising because on this case is a quality control sticker on one of the corners, which is another reason why I didn't see these little caps. Now the red power wire for this connector that goes into the LCD display, it's super short. So just by lifting up the case, you can see that there really isn't much room. There's not much slack in that cable. I tried pressing the connector in a couple of times, but it wouldn't stay in place. So I didn't want to silicone this thing and wait for it to dry. So I used some coaxial. That's a quick, immediate, gooey mess that will lock that in place and it shouldn't come out again. If it does, then maybe I'll consider putting silicone on it to keep it in place. Now that it's solid, I took a look inside the battery and all the components, everything was tight. Everything was solid, like it ought to be, like I would have hoped it was to begin with. So I put all the screws back in, put all the caps on. If I need to silicone them later to make it more water resistant, maybe I'll do that. And now the display works. I get a reading of the voltage and the battery capacity. And that's a good thing. That's what this was supposed to be all along. Now, should I as a customer be required to break open the box and fix stuff that's inside? No, you're not going to do it. And I certainly don't want to do it. So now I'm feeling much more confident that I can take this battery in the house and charge it. So I did. I put the charger to it. And this time it cycled up to 14.2 volts. And that's a good thing. That's exactly what I would have expected at 100% capacity. So go kilowatt if you're watching this video. My recommendation is have quality control, add a longer wire, do a little better quality control on that adapter. If that's going to be the selling point for a product like this, it needs to work for a customer like me. So I'd say for now, I give this battery a thumbs up like you should give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you want to see another video on portable operating or some sort of setup for ham radio, check out one of these right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.